All right, now we're doing free code camp, new responsive web design. Learn more about CSS pseudo selectors by building a balance sheet. Step 11. So within each of our new TH elements, we're gonna nest a span element with the class set to SR only year. We're gonna give them the following text in order, uh, 2019, 2020, and 2021. And then we're gonna give our third TH element the class attribute set to current, all right? We're gonna leave the TD element empty. Uh, this element exists only to ensure our table has a four column layout and associate the headers with the correct columns. Okay, so we're going to nest some spans to begin with. All right, so we'll come down here and say span slash span, all right? And now we're going to set them to the class of SR only year, all right? So class equals SR hyphen only and then year, all right? And now we're going to give them the following text in order. So we'll just say 20 on the first one. And is this in TD anyway? Nope. All right. Let me take this out of here. Take this whole thing out of here. Let's just drop it right down in here. No big deal. All right. So now we're doing that. And that's good for now. Let's take these ones and get rid of them. Take this one. Copy it. Paste it. One, two. And now we'll put uh, 2020, 2021, excuse me, 2019. I thought this was, uh, <laughs> I don't even know when that was. All right, so 1920 and 2, 1. All right, and then over here in this, leave the T, no, the TH element, we're going to make this current. All right, so class equals current okay and then the TD is empty this one all right cool so we're gonna check it looks good and submit it all right now we're on to step 12 and we'll see you next time